All right, so because I can't show you Monday and Tuesday, I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I did. Um, so I was just doing a lot of my basics and making sure things were being smooth. So this was on the – oh, that was on the 10th. So I guess I just totally missed – Never mind. I missed Monday entirely. I did just basics on everything on Monday. I wasn't pushing anything. Tuesday was when I was like, all right, let's start really cranking things out. Let's get the vibes going. So I was like, let's push it on high bar because I'm starting to feel good. My range of motion. I'm not casting because last time I casted was when my elbow totally freaked out on me. So I started off with the basic sequence, which was like half turn, half turn, hop, half turn, free hit, blind change, reverse pirouette. Like, uh, toe on, toe off, layout off, smooth, easy peasy. I was like, all right, we're, we're ready with our twisting. Pressure on the elbow's good. Uh, then I went into taps for releases. I did some front giants, which felt good because that was something I was not too sure about. Uh, I followed it up with a Stalder and a Takachev, which I was hesitant to do, but... You know, being able to fly in the air again felt really good. And I think this was like the first week I think I've been smiling in the gym in quite some time. So I was pretty happy with that. I caught my, wait, no, I caught my first, missed my first Takachev, caught my second one. Then I did a Zulu Mean and I fell on a Stalder after that. Classic. I think uh, you could see if you montage all my Stalders in the past like four or five months, I've probably fallen on like 75% of them. But that's the beginning. That's the beginning. I'm restarting again, guys. So then I decided to do a dismount tap because I want to start getting into dismounts the next couple weeks. But I wanted to make sure the tap was all good. Um, and then I did some Coleman's. I missed the first one, caught the second one. So we were chilling. We were all good to go there. And I was like, all right, it's a good stopping point. Let's not, you know, get too excited on uh, Tuesday and not be able to do anything for the rest of the day or tomorrow. So I was like, let's call it there. That's big steps we made. Let's not get over overly ambitious. So I went to rings, and my on rings I really want to get to uh, giants and dismounts. And so I was like, all right, let's just do in locates and dislocates for the first turn. Then let's do in locates and dislocates to handstands. And then I did one more turn after that where I did back of Bryce handstand, a giant, and then a shoot through to a half and half out dismount with the hopes that I can get into a double double next or the next time I go on the rings and then hopefully Yamawakis can start coming back into that and then we'll get ring strength as as the our rehabs progress uh, and then I went to pommel horse which this is where I'm feeling a lot of the big gains guys on horse I was doing uh two or did 10 scissors 10 circles then I went to 10 circles on the floor mushroom then I did moors and russians twice on the floor mushroom just so I can start getting that like Awkward extreme ranges of motion with my elbow and my wrist extension and then uh, I went to loops I did loops on horse for the first time in months and this time it didn't hurt at all So huge news there. That means my comeback on horse is on the rise uh, And then I did uh, 10 one pommel circles that weren't pretty but that's more than I've ever been able to do uh, since I first started coming back into training so we are better now than we ever have been after this post-quarantine life on Pommel Horse. Um, and then what I, my goals that I had for uh, the next day, I wanted to try to get to a basic sequence on Horse, do some mores, a half Savato. So, you know, we got some good things going there. I was, I was very pleased to see that. And then on, what is it? Okay, this is on Tuesday. And I don't know what happened on Tuesday. Apparently all of my... All my things, all the videos that I recorded just weren't showing up on my device, my phone. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to talk you guys through this one as well. But I did not feel good. My ankle was actually hurting a little bit because I was, I think I overdid my, because the week before I was in quarantine because I couldn't train because uh, we had a little COVID scare, which wasn't COVID. But when that happened, I did a lot of running and I think I just overdid it on my ankles because I was just like, I need to do something, I need to do something, be active. And I like overdid it, which is classic gymnastics mentality, unfortunately. But my ankles were still a little sore from that. So I just did a watered down set on floor, called it a day. Um, on P-bars, I did some swings, grip check, a couple uh, Makuts and Healy swings. I did, wait, what day is this shoot? This is on 11th is, 
Oh, that's Wednesday. Never mind. I don't know what I did on Tuesday then. Tuesday. Wow, guys. I'm all over the place. Huh. Okay. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Just kidding, guys. That's not what I did on Tuesday. No idea what I did on Tuesday anymore. <laughs> so, let me just skip and let's get right into Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, I was just describing my Wednesday, but, you know, I'll take a couple questions right now because I haven't I've ignored the chat a little bit, but I'll, actually i got to keep this open because there's some things I want to talk about throughout this uh, these couple days of training. I'm all over the place, guys. All over the place, but it's all right. It's all right. We're going to get better. And, uh, Tegan, you can't practice here and your ankle and knee have been feeling like crap. Well, what you should do is take this time to really rehab it. That's That's what I've been doing. Uh, a lot of extra rehab in my life. Uh, with your knee, I feel like you probably want to strengthen your quad a little bit, maybe your calf. Just strengthen the things around it, and that'll be a good way to spend your time while you can't practice. And uh, you probably... Oh, 11 was... Uh, Sam, your YouTuber, her name is Zeta, and she's pregnant, and she's getting ready for her baby. She's having a, ba or, uh, she's having a boy and been eating chocolate and sweets and can't stop eating them. You know, if more power to you. If it makes you happy, <laughs> you know, the pregnant pregnant mom needs she needs to have anything she can to be happy. So, give her everything she can. And what up, David? How you doing? Uh, how do you do a double back on high bar? It's really about just having a good position layout so that when you sit up and you let go, you have some extension to wrap into. And Haley, you've been feeling down today? Hey, just send some positive vibes. Uh, try to not let other people affect you. I've really been doing a lot of uh, looking or reading into you know mental health and happiness and things like that. And a lot of it is really you know trying not to react to certain triggers that you might normally have in your life and trying to understand why that might make you feel bad. And that separation of your mind and with your feelings will actually help you kind of understand and give perspective in a way that will really help you balance out the rest of your life. And that's, I don't know, something I've been really honing into recently and uh, just trying to find the positivity in everything. Give back more. Do everything slowly. Stop rushing. That's where a lot of anxiety seems to be coming from. It's like, hey, let's just like take a breath. You know, be conscious of your breathing. Take a moment. No, no need to rush through anything. Life isn't going anywhere. You just got to appreciate it. So, you know, do things that make you happy. Listen to music. Smell the roses. Go out for a walk. Nature always helps. Those things have been uh, very helpful for, you know, some bummer types of days out there. And uh, didn't know uh, they got rid of Tuesdays. Yeah, apparently they did. At least in my mind, in my phone. I literally can't remember what I did on Tuesdays. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Juan, I'm glad you got to catch me as well. Uh, it's, it's, you know, not the craziest journey that I've ever had uh, for this week, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, the wrist, Tara, is feeling phenomenal. The elbow, feeling much better. Not perfect, but we're making progress. And uh, how can I fix an athlete that stays tucked in Kovacs? Um, well, I think you want to tuck on a Kovacs, unless you're trying to teach them how to do a laid out one, but... In that case, you would just have to do more stand-up drills onto the bar. But without any further ado, let me just hit this play button so we can get into our Wednesday. And, uh, got you, Haley. Don't you worry. And so, yeah, we're starting off on floor on Wednesday. And I'm really starting to change my technique on this. So I really want to slow it down. This one wasn't as... Oh, wait, that one was good. That was a good one. So I want to show you guys what I'm doing right here. I'm focusing... I'm trying to get my left hand you see how i sweeped that it's like i'm like almost like trying to like zing my fingers off the carpet and i'm pulling that so that i'm trying to get my arm as far back behind me and my head can start looking down at the ground before i've really even started my like initiating a twist and so with at this point i'm really doing like a round off into a half twist looking at the ground into a front double full. And it's really been helping with my consistency and squaring up on my two and a half for a double front. And yeah, just been uh, cleaning up a lot of my twists. I translate that for my back triple full as well. And uh, you know, we're getting, floor is one event I still feel like I'm getting a lot better at. 
Um, you know, that, okay, obviously that was a horrible time for me to say that right there. Uh, and Tony, appreciate, uh, appreciate you coming back and hanging out. Things are going much better, so I've got some stuff to report. Uh, but yeah, honestly, on this Wednesday, my legs still weren't feeling super good. So I was like, Andre, let's just do a watered down set. Let's get our lungs going. Let's do our endurance and let's chill. And he was like, that sounds good. You know, we'll come back another day, focus on a lot of individual work and details and we'll get in there pretty good. And what up, WV Gymnast? Uh, nothing much. I'm just running you guys through this past week I had where progressing slowly, being safe, and we're getting things going pretty well. And, um, yeah, so they have, that obviously did not go as well, but I was like, it's all right. This is a lung burner routine anyways. Um, but, yeah, this is I, – I get to do it again right here, and it goes – not I didn't I don't fall but I don't do the full out of it. I just was not doing the right technique. If you really want to get into the details of why I didn't make that, uh, I hurdled too high. My elbows I like reached out with my hands rather than pulling them in. And the first action with my chest was to close rather than it was to open. And so I didn't get into my twist. I didn't get the height that I needed. But those are all things I kind of was just like you know I I can't even think right now. I'm pretty exhausted <laughs> so then we're on to vault and it's a little different of an angle and honestly the drills always seem to go really well here uh, i'm traveling a little bit to the left uh on those last two so i was like all right i need to get over to the right just a little bit more so i can square up as i wrap into the twist and that was a beautiful little turn i uh, you know you'd think you would have everything figured out but uh, i did not <laughs> have my steps quite where i needed them to be but yeah, it was just a quick little vault warm-up on that Wednesday. Didn't want to do too much because I wasn't ready uh, with my ankles to actually go on the vault. I was like, you know, let's let's take a break. We got a lot of rehab. But this is big steps for me right here, guys. This is huge. I'm on one arm posting, getting ready for McCoots, and Healy's trying to catch. So things are starting to get a lot better in terms of like comfortability with my elbow and being able to go through ranges of motion and certain extre or extremes. So we're, we're doing a lot better there. And uh, what do we got? Did you get butterflies this week? And if you did on what events? Haley, I did. And it was on high bar for sure. You'll see why uh, shortly, but that'll get there. And Miles, how do you get a good front double full? And what up, Josh from Louisiana? Appreciate you tuning in. Um, Miles, what I would say the best thing to do is to hurdle with a hollow chest and to get your arms as you punch through the ground to fall or to have your elbows try like, swinging by your hips so that your chest opens up and that will give you the height and rotation you need and you'll have plenty of time to open up out of that. And uh, what's the hardest skill for me to do on rings? I would have to say um, the backup rise. Well, I am, I'd say Nakayama is probably the hardest one for me. And so, yeah, here I am also I'm doing peaches right now. Just getting my grips ready or my hands ready. Got to get those calluses back. Uh, mainly just trying to see that if as I, like, push through, does that bother my elbow? And obviously since I did, like, four of them, <laughs> it was feeling good. So, you have to check that off the list, and we can improve in the next week. And uh, do you have to submit routines before a competition? Uh, yes, you do. Sometimes, uh, like, you do if you're going to, like, world championships and stuff. If you're doing, like, a NCAA competition, you don't have to, so that's good news. Um, wait, is this? Oh, no, that was a much... Is this the same? Are these the same clips that I just played? No, no, these, this is way better. This is, okay, yeah, never mind. This is way better. So I'll show you guys what I was talking about on floor. Um, watch, like, watch where that hand pulls. That arm is way down. I am, like, actually looking down at the ground right now. Like, it's a very split checkpoint that I have now that makes me feel like I'm, like, just, yo, floor, I see you, bro. I see you. And then we finish the twist, punch, double front, little hop. We good. We good. So yeah, we got we got some things. Uh, back to your competition for big big competitions, world championships. Yeah, you have to submit. And whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you guys just see that? I just threw a double pike. I swore I would never do a double pike again because it, all it takes is one for me to wreck my back if I land short. But things have been going so well with like my like 
low hurdle, hollow chest, punch with my elbows through my hips, that I'm feeling so much more consistent with my height and rotation. I was like, Andre, you know what? Let's do a double pike today. Let's see how things go. So, look at this. Look at this. Cruising, plenty of height, over rotation. That's the way I like to go. And I was like, the big dilemma is I can't seem to stick my Randy in, uh, oh, fell on that again. I can't seem to stick my Randy in my routine, which is why I was like, you know, maybe we'll do a double pike as my first pass, back two and a half double front. And then after that, instead of doing a Randy, let's try a double front half. And so here we go. We're about to give this a go. Double pike, beautiful. I like it. Nice, clean, smooth. I like double pike a lot. There's not many deductions with it. Uh, there's no turning deductions, no lack of prep for landing deductions. And, you know, that was a solid two and a half double front. Very controlled. And so here I'm supposed to go for a double front half, trying it out. And I didn't really feel like I did the right things. Like I cowboyed a bunch and I just, I, I, I kind of brain farted. And so I was like, ah, you know. We can't, we can't knock it until we try it, but honestly, I think I'm going to get back in it. But here's some big stuff. I'm finally getting flares close to the floor, which is something that I wasn't able to do uh, all throughout quarantine. So this is kind of me progressing and getting almost 100% back on floor, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, and then the rest, you know, here's that front double full again for you, Miles, if you want to check it out. I might even slow-mo it for you. I am pretty tired, so maybe my technique won't be what I want it to be, but hollow chest, hollow chest, open chest. and eh, I didn't really open much. I tried to, but, you know, I kind of twisted that one into the ground. It, was, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. But, you know, you get the gist. You get the gist of it, right? <laughs> and uh, how do you build hand strength for uh, P-bar routines with lots of giants? I, a lot of people might say rope, but honestly, I don't think that – I've never really felt like hand strength was necessary as much as like just a good grip and building your calluses. And that's really all I thought was necessary. But check this back triple full. Stoy! We're going to actually rewind that real quick. Look at where I'm – like you see I'm looking at the ground right now. I'm like trying to find the ground as I'm punching through this round off. Boom. Ground. I see you. Now let's wrap and hit a back double full, and then you get to stick that bad boy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. So, yeah, things are things are progressing on floor. We'll say that. Uh, back to Friday, P-bars, getting those Makuts drills, you know, making sure everything is just as good as it was on that Wednesday. So nothing too crazy there. Um, and, David, how can I do a good double front? It's kind of the same thing, uh, David, as I was saying to Miles. It's all about your hurdle being low, hollow. As you punch, your arms keeping your elbows close by your side and punching through your hips into an arched extension through your heels. And then, you know, you can do either twisting or flipping after that with good rotation and with plenty of time for a kick out. Uh, Tara, how far in advance do you need to submit? I think it's the day before. I don't think it's anything crazy. And uh, New Earth Warrior, you're so tight and tight in all these. Thank you. That's the goal. <laughs> the goal is always just to be as tight as you can in this sport. And I'm just doing a little endurance right now. Nothing too crazy. Just wanted to make sure all my ranges of motion were good before I started testing out some new things. Um, but we're getting there. And could you explain the elbow wrist thing again before jumping? Uh, I mean, it's it's just keep your elbows by your sides. If they're ever out here... Like on, on your hurdle and as you're punching, that means the next thing that's going to happen is it's going to bring you forward. You want to get them, try to get your arms, like your elbows behind you as you're punching. And as you can see, we got a pretty nice Makuch timer right there. So soon we're going to be able to piece these back together and I could try to get to where I was before. So little things are going to be getting there. Um, oh, how can you get better on your double back? Uh, and more power. Uh, the best way to do it, chin to your chest and to really dig on that snap down. And yeah, you see, we got these studs. We got these studs is going real well. Because here's the next part. I'm like, all right, time to start figuring how is it when I'm pushing through a handstand on my elbow and how is it catching out of my Healy? So I'm starting to build the comfortability with the muscle memory, making sure I'm not taking too big of jumps throughout this whole process. But, yeah, we're getting there. And, yeah, Haley, Andre did love – he loved the stick. 
Love this thing. You can't go wrong with that. Um, <laughs> Robbie, you love the beard? Doing No Shave November? Yeah, you know it, dude. Uh, Mia, Mia egged me on to give it a go. She wanted to see what I look like with a beard, and she seems to be enjoying it. She, I, I think she, she finds me a little, you know, a little, a little more manly in certain ways. <laughs> um, and David, you're the best. I appreciate it, David. Many greetings from Germany. I appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, shoot, midnight all the way over there. Well, hopefully I'm not taken away from your sleep all too much, but thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of like a very... Oh wait, shoot, I totally missed my peaches on... Yeah, no, no, so yeah, the peaches, honestly, they just progressed a little bit. You know, I said I did the little baby cast, now I'm trying to go to 45. Next time I'll try it from a handstand, try to go to a handstand, but just really getting the grips. Getting the grip checks going and making sure everything's good. And here you can see on high bar, I'm no longer casting. I'm doing everything from like a pullover giant, but this will just be like a nice basic sequence. And greetings from Venezuela. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in from all the way over there. And the Yi 3 hey, how you doing? Appreciate you tuning in as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that was I was trying to go for a good post, but, you know, we're all right. We're all right. It, nothing too crazy. But this is the first day where I'm like, all right, we're on high bar this Friday. What are my, what are my goals? So the next turn, I'm about to hit some taps. Oh, wait, you know, we chalked the bar up, so I do just a bunch of... Uh, bunch of nothing giants here also i'm breaking a new grip so i i can't be doing uh throwing my kovacs work into kachas with these new grips but you know it's it's a boring process that is <laughs> how are you so clear all the time how what do you mean clear like through the camera clear or the way i explain things clear <laughs> i'll take either one though um but yeah me i'm just warming up it's like I, i'm honestly just like testing it out if I go through these ranges of motion, are they going to hurt me or am I going to be able to be productive with it? And so here's my first Takachev and we're good. I wasn't pretty. I know that's not the greatest Takachev I've ever done, but you know, got the quast in there too. So I'm able to put pressure on that singular elbow and there's my like Chinese tap. Sorry if that scared anyone. I know I should always give a disclaimer before I do a Chinese tap without actually going, but here's my first Coleman. Of the day, not of the week, not of the week, but of the day. It's trying to leave off or pick up where I left off on Wednesday and smooth. And I was a little worried about catching too with the elbow. So I was like, that was good. Let's do the Takachev. Could we go for a Takachev half out of it? I think we could. But I was like, yeah, let's not get too crazy. Like that was already a lot. I want to try getting some vault in on this day too. So I was like, all right, these drills, they seem to be going well. Let's go to vaults. Let's see the big boy vault. Let's see how we can translate it. And it's not good. It's not good. I'll show you why it's not good. This day it kind of frustrated me on vaults because the drills were great. They were beautiful. But then here I am arching. Why am I so arched right now? That's what's killing me. I'm always supposed to be getting my chest to my or my chin to my chest and trying to close and create as much angle in my chest as I possibly can. Right now I'm doing the total opposite, which then leaves me coming off the table and I'm my butt is facing this wall and not this wall. That's so everything's going wrong and honestly you're just going to see a bunch of this throughout this whole vaulting thing and I just I couldn't figure it out. And so I, I then I decided to go back to the drills and try it on here and I still do the exact same thing. Like let's see when my hands come off, which way is my butt facing? This way, not this way. So these were all kind of like failed attempts and I got frustrated. But then the next day, Donathan, my teammate, he was doing vaults as well. And he kind of just helped me realize again what I needed to be doing by creating, you know, the angle in my chest, keeping my arm chin to my chest. And I didn't realize that on this Friday, but I did the next day when I was working with my teammate. And so now we get to a more fun day on, uh, on the pommel horse. It is... My time where I'm like, all right, I it was I think I did palm horse on Tuesday or when I don't know what day it was Wednesday, but I was like, here's the loops, baby. We're getting things cooking. Look at that aggressive right hand post. There's you know I'm being very consistent, trying to stay tight. What do I do on this one? 
I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to get my moors because I was doing that on the floor mushroom before. Now I'm doing it up on the real horse and the range of motion feels good. I'm not getting any clicking in my elbow. These one pommel circles are ugly, but that's fine. You know, we're just trying to piece things back together at this point in time. I uh, got my, so I'm trying to build up so I can, the next day I go to horse, I can just immediately ride into my basic sequence. And so these couple turns that I'm doing are all pieces of my basic sequence that I wanted to make sure I could do before I actually started getting in there. And so here's the beginning of my basic sequence that I'm about to do. Good one pommel circles, better than the last little turn. Flares, and then I kicked the crap out of the horse right there. Hurt really bad, but I was like, hey, let's just jump back on the horse and try the flares. And that was a big test because that's the, that's the one that normally hurt my elbow the most. And so we were all good there. I was like, all right, let's go try some rings. Let's do our giants. Obviously, it's not pretty, but, you know, I do have a little more comfortability than the first day that I did rings. Let's do that giant through. And I'm picking off or picking up where I left off. And so on this one, I have to explain, I was doing a lot of rehab and this one just kind of like irked my shoulder a little bit right there. And I was like, eh, okay, I'm going to call it for the day. You know, we've, we've already gotten a lot of gains. So with that being said, that actually caps out the week right there. Um, it was, you know, I did miss a couple things. I don't know where they went in my recording. Uh, they're gone somewhere. But I'll say, you know, that was a, it, it's just like the beginning of the comeback again, <laughs> essentially. I feel much better than I did before. And things are feeling a lot more progressive, especially on horse. I feel like horse is what's given me a lot of mental availability for my like you know or mental you know happiness i guess it's like oh i'm progressing i'm doing things i wasn't doing before uh before my elbow started hurting so that's where i'm like okay i'm finally starting to feel you know i don't know things are building up for goodness let's just, let's just leave it at that but uh with that being said that's all i got for you know the video aspect of this episode um what i'll do now is just hang out chat with you guys answer the questions uh, finish up whatever chats I haven't seemed to get to while the video is playing, but we're gonna move on from there. 